Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be part 6 of my declutter series. Today I will be decluttering all of my blushes. For any additional information about this video, please check out the description box. And without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so just grabbing the first one here, this is the Milani Baked Blush, and this is in the shade Romantic Rose, and this is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's just got a rose decal on it, and I've used this blush, I've probably had this for like a year, and um, it's just such a pretty blush, so I will definitely be keeping this one. Okay, next here is the Milani uh, Baked Blush, this is in the shade Rose D'Oro. Um, and this is just another really, really pretty shade. It does have a lot of shimmer in it, but once you get it on the cheeks, um, that kind of goes away and just melts into your skin. So again, another really pretty that I will, pretty shade that I will be keeping. And then just sticking to the Milani theme, this is another baked blush, and this is in the shade Luminoso. Um, this is a very, very, very beautiful color, and I will definitely be keeping this as well. Again, um, it does kind of have that little bit of shimmer in it, but once you get it on the cheeks, that just goes away. So, um, again, I will be keeping this one. Okay, next we have a Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in the shade in a Purple Haze. Um, this is their sort of newer line, um, and this is an Ombre Blush, so when you swirl them all together, it's just... It's a really, really light lavender shade that you get, and it's very pretty, and I really like this, so I will definitely be keeping this. Okay, so next I have a NYX blush. This is in the shade Mocha, and this is a really pretty color, kind of a terracotta color, and I will be keeping this one. Next I have this Hard Candy Fox in a Box. This is in the shade Hot Flash, and I really, really enjoy using this. I like to just swirl all the colors together, and it's so pigmented and such a hot, sort of pink color this one really stands out um, so I'll definitely be keeping that one and another hard candy blush this is a baked blush in the shade living doll um, this is really pretty as well uh, just a lot lighter of a color um, and I will definitely be keeping this one next this is a blush by studio makeup this is in the shade wildflower this is a beautiful color really great for every day um, just super pretty. Um, I'll definitely be keeping this. Okay, and this is one of my favorites. This is a Lorac blush. This is um, their buildable matte blushes, and this is in the shade Ultra Violet. So pretty, so very pigmented. It blends out really nice on the skin. It just gives a really nice blush to the skin, and I'll definitely be keeping this one. So this here is a NYX baked blush. This is in the shade Sugar Mama. I'll go ahead and keep this. For a while, it was kind of had like a hard pan on it, and I couldn't get a lot of color payoff, but um, I think, I think I've kind of broken through that layer and I'll go ahead and keep this for now. Okay, this is a beautiful blush. This is by Laura Geller and this is in the shade Tropic Hues. So pigmented, so pretty. I absolutely love this. This is just like a little sample size that I got in a BoxyCharm, but it is so pretty. Just blends out really, really nice on the skin. Um, a beautiful color, and I'll definitely be keeping this. Okay, this one I have had forever. Um, the little clear plastic thing is gone, and this is so old. Probably one of the first blushes that I've ever gotten. Um, this is by like Colorworks or something like that. It doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a sh color shade. It was a really pretty color, but it's just not very good quality, and I've had it for a very long time, so I'll go ahead and pass this one along. Okay, next I have a Mark Powder Blush in the shade Chic Frills. This is a really pretty color. If you swirl both of these together, it just gives you like a really nice mauve -y, everyday color. I'll definitely be keeping this. This is a really pretty blush color. Okay, next we have an e.l.f. Baked Blush. This is in the shade Rich Rose. So that's what that color looks like. Really pretty color. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Okay, next we have an e.l.f. Blush, and this is in the shade Mellow Mauve. This is a really pretty everyday color. Um, these blushes are so pigmented, I really, really like these, so I'm definitely going to keep this blush by e.l.f. Okay, next this is an Avon blush in the shade Cranberry. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Another Avon blush, this is in the shade Rose Luster. I will be keeping that one. Really pretty shade. This is another blush 
from Avon in the shade Warm Flush, and this is probably one of my favorites. Just a really pretty color. So I will be keeping that one. This is another Avon blush in the shade Heavenly Pink, and that's just a really, really light pink sort of shade, and I will be keeping that one. <laughs> another blush by Avon, this is in the shade Classic Aura. I will go ahead and keep that one as well. These Avon blushes are one of my favorites. They're just really nice blushes and they work really nice on the skin. Okay, and then I've got another Avon blush. This is in the shade Antique Rose and I will go ahead and keep this one as well. Just a really nice pretty color. And then I've got another Mark. Um, this is a blush and glow powder in the shade Wonder Glow and I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. This is a really pretty color. Once you swirl all of them together, I'll be keeping that. This is a Julep blush. This is in the shade Petal Pink and this is a really pretty color and these blushes are really really pigmented really pretty I'll go ahead and keep that and then I have another elf blush and this is in the shade Fusa, Fuchsia Fusion and um, this one does have a lot of sparkles in it but I really like it it's just a really pretty color I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one as well okay moving on to these palettes here um, this first one is an elf blush palette and this is in the dark um, the dark shade and these are really, really beautiful, really pigmented. I'm definitely going to be keeping these. Um, they're just great options to have. Uh, really pretty and I really like all of them. Definitely be keeping that. And then I have another e.l.f. blush palette and this is in the light shade. And again, just super pretty. Really pigmented, all of these are. I will go ahead and keep that as well. Okay, this one here, actually these next two are from the Color Workshop. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of both of these powder blush palettes. They don't have names or anything like that. Um, I've had these for a very, very long time. Like before I was in high school, I had these. They're just not very good quality. Um, don't have a lot of color payoff. Um, it's just kind of something I was keeping because I'd had it forever. Um, but I don't really ever reach for them just because they're not very good quality and they're pretty old. So I'm going to pass these along. Okay, this next thing here is a Too Faced Natural Face, the Natural Radiance Face Palette by Too Faced. And I have gotten a lot of use out of this palette. Um, it's got a powder bronzer over here, which is really pretty. It's got a powder blush that is really pretty as well. And then it has a cream blush which I do get some pretty good use out of that. And then it has like a concealer shade, another concealer shade, which as you can see, I really like this concealer shade. And then it's got a cream um, highlighter over here. I'll definitely be keeping this palette. I used the heck out of it and I will have to start using this again because I definitely like this one. So this is a CoverGirl blush and this is in the shade Iced Cap. I think I'll go ahead and get rid of this one for now. I've had it for quite a while, um, and it does take a while to build up the color, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along, along for now. All right, I've got another NYX um, Baked Blush over here. This is in the shade Pink Fetish, and I would definitely be keeping this one. Just such a pretty hot pink fuchsia sort of color. I'll definitely be keeping this one. Okay, next I have a Smooth Minerals. This is their Loose Blush. This is in the shade Hardy Peach, which is one of my favorite um, mineral blushes by Avon. Just so pretty. Um, they blend out really nicely on the skin. So that's just such a pretty color. I absolutely love these. I'll definitely be keeping that. Another Smooth Minerals blush by Avon. This is actually another Hardy Peach. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along because I definitely don't need to. And then I've got one in the shade Golden Glow. Again, such a very, very pretty color. Um, I really like these. I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one as well. Okay, so next I have a Wet n Wild blush in the shade Berry Shimmer. And I will be keeping this one. This is just a really, really pretty shade. Very pigmented. I really like these blushes. I'll go ahead and keep that. Okay, next I have the City Color Be Matte Blush. This is in the shade Fresh Melon, and I really, really like this. I'm going to definitely keep this. Just such a pigmented, pretty color. I really like this one. I'll definitely be keeping this. Next I have a Butter London uh, Cheeky Cream Blush. This is in the shade Pistol Pink. 
So that's what that one looks like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I'm just not the hugest fan of cream blushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. I just, I haven't used it very much and um, I just don't ever see myself reaching for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along. Next I have a NYX cream blush. This is in the shade Boho Chic, and this doesn't have a whole lot of color payoff. As you can see, it's just really light. Um, and again, I'm just not the biggest fan of cream blushes, so I think I'll pass that one along. I have another NYX cream blush. This is in the shade Tickled. Yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of these. These just don't do a whole lot for me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along as well. So these two are um, that same sort of line as the Color Works, um, the blush palette that I'm getting rid of. This is a cream blush from that line. Um, this one looks more like a cream contour, sort of. Um, they're just not very good quality and I never reach for them, so I'm going to go ahead and pass both of these along. Next I have an Avon Cream Blush and Highlighter Duo. So this is the blush side. Um, just not really the biggest fan of what that does to my skin. And then this is the highlighting side, which doesn't do a whole lot either. So. I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. Now this is a cream blush that I will be keeping. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Birthday Suit. Um, these are just really great formulas. Really great um, color payoff. I'm definitely going to keep this. This is a Bella P. Air Coral Cheek and Lip Stain. So I think I will be keeping this one. This one's a little bit nicer formula and better payoff than those other ones that I've been getting rid of. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this one. Now all these little black ones are Avon Cream Cheek Colors, so we'll just go through these. I don't believe I'll be keeping any of these. Okay, so I am getting rid of 19 blush products that were in this drawer, so I'm really happy about that. I definitely have some more room. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe and all that jazz. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're having a great day. Um, I will just see you in the next video. Bye!